Hello everyone. Welcome back to the world this week with me. In this session, we'll look at some of the key events that happened last week. We will start with a quick summary of some of the major events and then we'll take a closer look at some of the other events that happened across the world. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so that you will promptly receive my weekly wrap up without fail. Now, let's start with the short news. The Delhi High Court directed private as well as government schools to provide gadgets and an internet package to poor students for online classes, saying the absence of these such facilities prevents children from pursuing elementary education. Atal Tunnel, world's longest highway tunnel above 10,000 feet, connecting Manali with Leh is ready after 10 years. Union Minister Harsimrat Badal quits over centers new bills for farmers. In a first, train fares to include user fee at high footfall stations. Railway Board Chairman VK Yadav said that the charges will be nominal and will be applicable in about 10 to 15 percent of the 7,000 railway stations across the country. Yoshihide Suga has been elected as the new Prime Minister of Japan. He retains most key ministers in cabinet and also pledged to pursue his predecessor, Shinzo Abe's policies. Tensions in Taiwan escalate as Chinese fighter jets enter Taiwan airspace for the second day. U.S. holds its second high-profile visit to Taiwan in two months as Beijing escalates military pressure. Israel, Bahrain and UAE sign deals formalizing ties at the White House. The blessings of this peace we make today will be enormous, Israel Prime Minister Netanyahu said. U.S. airline executives meet at the White House for standalone stimulus package. The company executives warned of massive job cuts in the industry and said that it would not be fair for the thousands of airline workers who are about to be laid off. Now, let's delve into a few more things in detail. Europe's second wave. The World Health Organization warned of a very serious situation unfolding in Europe. It comes as cases exceed those seen at the peak of the pandemic in March. New social restrictions are introduced for the North East England amid a spike of cases. Speaking in Copenhagen, World Health Organization's Regional Director Hans Kluge said 300,000 new infections were reported across Europe last week alone. Although these numbers reflect more comprehensive testing, it also shows alarming rates of transmission across the region, he told reporters. Storms wrecking havoc. A fierce storm, Isla, hits the west coast and central regions of Finland, leaving 80,000 homes without electricity. along the Gulf Coast. Nearly 150,000 homes and businesses had lost electricity. A curfew was called in the coastal Alabama city of Gulf Shores due to life-threatening conditions.
on bridge. The people of Budhal in Bihar's Gaya district are constructing a bridge over a river that was pending since 1992 by themselves. They contributed money from their own pockets for the construction. Amid monsoon season, people of Budhal in Gaya have built a bridge in their village that was pending for almost 30 years. We have been demanding the construction of this bridge, but the government did not fulfill it. So the villages decided to construct it themselves. Let's move on to some interesting facts. Astronomers spying phosphor on Venus, a potential sign of life. Alien life could be producing an Earth-like gas on Venus, our closest space neighbor. The scorching hell planet would instantly kill a human with surface temperatures reaching 470 degrees Celsius and pressure so high you'd be crushed alive. But scientists think the temperature of the upper cloud layer on Venus could play host to some forms of life. How far can you travel every day to work? The Australian family that travels 1,800 km to run an outback pub. Talia Ellis and her family live on a farm in New South Wales, Australia. So, they are perhaps not the most likely owners of a pub 1,800 km away in outback Queensland. But luckily for them, Miss Ellis is an experienced small plane pilot. <laughs> From where we are into uh, to Birdsville, if you were to drive, it's 1,800 kilometres via the shortest route, but that'll take you a good three days. You're driving on pretty inhospitable and, uh, and re remote dirt roads most of the way. Birdsville is really a, a destination. It's well off the beaten track and it's right on the edge of the Simpson Desert in far western Queensland. We do have our own plane which allows us to be able to travel from the farm. It takes us about four and a half to four hours and 45 minutes. It is handy for us. If we make an early enough start in the morning, we can be up there by lunchtime, but um, it just wouldn't be practical without an aeroplane. It's almost like... Amidst the pandemic, countries across the world are making sure people adhere to the COVID-19 protocols with unique punishments. In Indonesia, Punishment for not wearing masks is digging graves for COVID-19 victims. For those violating the social distancing norms and not wearing masks in public places have to face an unconventional punishment. Let's move on to some fun facts. Thailand's Khao Yai National Park near Bangkok mails tourists their own rubbish. Litterbugs who visit national parks in Thailand may soon start getting an unwelcome present in the post when they return home, a package of their own rubbish. Visitors to the park have to register with their addresses, making it easier for rangers to track them down if they leave rubbish behind. After numerous visitors had left behind vast amounts of rubbish last weekend in the Khao Yai National Park near Bangkok, the Environment Minister had the rubbish promptly packed and sent back to the polluters by mail. We collected your garbage in a cardboard box and sent it to your home. This should be a lesson to you to never again throw any waste anywhere. It read on the enclosed note. That's it for this week guys. I will be putting all of the source links down in the description box below. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell because I don't want you to miss any of my latest news updates. If you have any questions, please write it in the comment box down below. I'll be back with another set of news, another one in a nutshell. Bye!